Gentlemen, we continue the first round of the European Darts Grand Prix and introduce to the stage a host nation qualifier playing in his fifth Euro Tour event. A Winmore World Masters semi finalist, Germany's Gabriel Klemmer! We now welcome a twice Lakeside World Championship semi finalist a quarter-finalist here in Sindelfingen last year. It's the double-decker from the Netherlands, Jan Decker! In this afternoon session here at the European Darts Grand Prix, and we've seen Aaron Monk, Madas Razmar, Matt Padgett and Vincent van der Voort win their opening matches and move into round two tomorrow to take on seeded opponents. The winner of this clash will take on the number 11 seed, Simon Whitlock. And we know which man will get most, if not all, of the support in the Glass Palace here in Sindelfingen this afternoon. Gabriel Clements, a host nation qualifier and a man that's riding a crest of the wave at the moment, taking on Holland's Jan Decker, a quarter finalist here last year. And I know that my commentary colleague for this one, Dan Dawson, is a a fully paired up member of the Gabriel Clemens fan club. I am. I think he's a, a very, very dangerous player, Gabriel Clemens. He was not only a, a World Masters semi-finalist last year, but he's been putting in some very eye-catching displays on the Pro Tour in his first year. Managed to get his tour card in Hildesheim this year, and we've already seen him make a quarter-final and then go and make a semi-final last weekend as well. So, I mean, genuinely, having seen German players play PDC darts for years first leg is Janssen, throw first. Game on. and then finally seeing Max Hopp become the first German player to win a ranking event we nearly had two in the space of about three weeks yeah had some fantastic performances in Wigan last Sunday when he embarked on that run to the semi-finals it all fell apart from a little bit in the hmm. semi-final match against Jeffrey Gisvan who went on to pick up his maiden PDC crown but he did beat Peter Wright on his run with 103 average also saw off James yeah, Wade fine. and a recent tour winner in Mickey Mansell mm. he, he's a very dangerous player is Gabriel Clemens and I think Jeffrey Desvaughn probably benefited yeah, from just a little bit more experience even though he's only 21 years old that that final that he made was his third one this year and it's taken him three to get over the line and win one and we've seen the kind of numbers that Seriously. Jeffrey Desvaughn's been throwing. I mean, he's, he's a guy who's throwing 115 average this year, Jeffrey Desvaughn. Yeah, very interesting contest. Jan Decker can be something of an enigma. Never really sure what he's going to produce. Well, it was this tournament last year here at the Glass Palast where Jan Decker was just finishing Seriously. everything. I mean, his, his finishing statistics going into the final day was something ridiculous, like 75%. I'm not sure what's upset him there. Just as a increase in noise from the spectators that have joined us on this Friday afternoon session. Because the first start that he threw looked perfect. Whether he lost a grip on the dart, it was nothing to do. That I don't know. I'm just trying to guess. And maybe it was something with the darks. He's carrying out some kind of repairs in the yeah, background there. You can't tell what he is doing. Was he it, just the, from the action? It looked like he might have been sharpening a point or something, but it's very, very difficult to say. Double sixteen. Yeah, and Jan Decker yeah, yeah. takes out 111 in the very first leg for a 15 darter and a very sort of Jan Decker thing to do. Well, maybe this is his manner, finishing everything you say last 100. year. Well, he started where he left off at a glass palace. 44. One hundred and twenty-one. Fifty-six. First meeting between this pair. We know that Clements is a, a fairly new addition to the PDC tour. 
59. He's uh, one of the players that's making an impact, and I think sometimes the achievements of new boys on the professional circuit get overlooked because it's compared to what Rob Cross did last year. 59. Winning the World Championship in his first season as a pro, but it's... Uh, and that's quite good. Well, it's all right. But it's been very decent stuff, hasn't it? Yeah. From Clements. And he's becoming a feared player. Yeah, and I, I think people are starting to notice it. I mean, you're going to know he's normal. But he's making an impact, and people are going up against Instead of just dismissing... You know, oh, just that German blind. He, he's not been around that long. I'll eye him out. They're not doing that, the players. Even just experienced players are 100. thinking, I've got a real game on it. I've got to take this seriously. Jan Decker last year, he began his campaign beating James Wilson with 108 average. It was unreal. Not bad. Wins that leg to cancer to level this one up. Yeah, he saw James Wilson, then he beat Alan Norris, then beat Kim Hybrex, and was only beaten by the eventual champion Peter Wright, who, well, he only averaged 94 against him in his quarterfinal. It was not much of a warning of what was to come in the final later that night, where he averaged almost 105 and whitewashed the world number one Michael Van Gerwen in a, a result but we have seen MVG whitewashed not very often it has to be said but for it to happen in a final a big stage tournament in front of 3,000 fans broadcast across the world that was when people started thinking well Peter Wright's in danger of going and winning things yeah, this year. A big huge things. shot that just knocked the stuffing out of Michael Van Gerwen in that final. 139. Last year. A 161, if I recall correctly. The 170 is what the way Jan Deco and he returns, but. 140. His opponent. Can't go out, so he doesn't have to go for it. Peter Wright, of course, when he embarks on his campaign tomorrow, will. Be attempting to be the first man to successfully defend a title at Zindelfingen. Very confident about his chances when I spoke to him last night, Peter Wright. He says, I am going to win it. I know I'm going to win it. Bullseye. 61. I'm not one to doubt Peter Wright, but if we handed out trophies to every dart player who knew they were going to win tournaments, there'd be about 20 of them up there in the presentation ceremony at the end of events. Yeah. Four Peter Wright did also say he's going to win 20 bar, titles this year and he's running out of time for that he particular did, yeah. target. He did. Okay. Well, I mean, it's an option, Jan. 21. But it's not a very good option. Really Hitting the double four. nine when you wanted the single. Does you out of a dart at double and Clemens could steal this leg away on double 16. Or double eight. 58. And you require four. Double two then for double decker. <laughs> Up for double one. Okay, shot on the third and leg. There it is. To regain his lead in a slightly different on. style to how he earned it in the first place. Big fan of Gabriel Clemens, who is obviously a very large man. Throwing with a very delicate little pinky extended. Mm. It's like a sort of, it's like a hippo drinking from a china cup. Yeah. Has he got a, incongruous? Has he got a brand, Gabriel Clements? Has he got a nickname and all well, that kind not, of shebang not, so far? Not yet, but I'm quite a big fan of the locksmith because he is a locksmith. Well, I'll see what you've done there, Danny. Yeah, very, very inventive, that. Well, yeah, but didn't you come up with a suggestion for a walk-on tune? Was it you? Oh, well, I've got the key. Yeah, Urban Cookie Collective. You know, I think that was, it might have been Nicholson. Oh, it might have been. Pains me to say it's a, a good idea of his. It is a good idea of his, because like, that's a banger, and it fits, I mean, and I, everybody I, knows it. I think he could go down the old Desperate Dan theme. He's got a, a similar look. Mm. Mm. 99. But he might have to change his name to Dan, and it might not work. <laughs> also, is Desperate Dan, is the, the dandy a big thing in Germany? I'm not sure we'll Why don't you ask? You're doing the interviews on stage after the uh, game. No, you'll be, you'll be fine. If it's a German player who wins, then it'll be uh, 
PDC Europe's Torsten Brock will be conducting. My German isn't quite up to scratch. 94. And you require well, let's see if Jan Decker's up to scratch here. 136. Could be. And it is second ton plus finish of the match. The 136 to file alongside the 111 earlier on. Very much up to scratch from Jan Decker. It has been those two ton plus finishers that have stood out in this match. It has not been a game of particularly high quality in the first four legs, apart from those two visits, both from Jan Decker. And it does not surprise you to see double Decker taking out those big combination shots. Two-time lakeside semi-finalist Jan Decker, and on both occasions, he relied on some massive checkouts at crucial times. He's that kind of a player. We're going to see another German qualifier in the final match of this afternoon's session. Martin Sindler, the wall, taking on Wales as Robert Owen. And Shindy, who was in the quarterfinals on Sunday as well as Gabriel Clemens. There was a tantalising moment. We could have had an all-German final getting into the latter stages of the 10th Players' Championship event well, of the year. Shindy beat the world champion Rob Cross 6-0 that day. Imagine the atmosphere if such a thing were to happen here this weekend. Mm, now then. Things are happening for Gabriel Clement. Back to that 180s. He's a bit more like it from Der Locksmith. Der Schlosser, if you're looking for the German word for it. I wasn't, but thanks. Well, you've got it anyway. Deal with it. 16 for tops. Double 10. Break straight back with a 12 darter. Exactly what Der Schlosser would have wanted. Dmitry Vandenberg there in the crowd, having to sit and watch on as he reflects on his defeat to Matt Padgett earlier today. Before that match with Martin Schindler, we have a clash between a former what world champion and a former world championship finalist, Stephen Bunting and Kirk Shepherd, and then Matt Geese against Alan Tabern, sandwiched in between. 140. Geese sandwich. A Euro Tour debut for Matt Geese. No less. Yeah, not so for Alan Tabin. Keeps popping up this year, doesn't he, he on does. the European Tour? He does. And I tell you what, you look at his performances in the Pro Tour this year, and he's, he's competitive. Very competitive. 55. Five nineteens will leave the one seventy. There's four of them. Ninety-five. The well, and he's had a one eleven. He's had a one three six. He had a look at a one seventy earlier and ended up in the madhouse. Thirty-nine, and you require one hundred and seventy. Well, Clements, only thirty-nine does leave a finish. So, assume Decker would go for this. Had he found the second dart in the requisite treble. Two trebles needed for Clemens to get a dart at the bullseye. Not going to happen. So a chance for a, another break. Third in the row. 100. And you require 72. Double six. The ash down. 66. Not to be. Misses the double six and the double three. Clemens to level this game up. Double 16 the target. Only just squeezes it in the 18. 35. And you require six. Well, it's either clinical finishing or scrappy finishing, isn't it, so far? Decker ups the split. Ends up back in the madhouse. And hits it again. Am I going to take out ton plus finishers or yeah. finish legs on double one? That is it. One eleven, double one. One three six, double one. They're the four legs that Jan Decker has won. So he's probably going to take out a one six seven in a minute and then win the match on double one. That would be that would be the pattern that double Decker is following here. One hundred and thirty nine. Well, I reckon he should try and combine the two. Take out a ton plus finish on double one. Okay. What the old? 41. The one, two, two. Why not? 
It's the kind of thing Michael Van Gerwen has been doing lately. He's been one, two, fours on double two, that sort of thing. 99. Yeah, we better not mention that idea to Michael Van Gerwen. I assume he's not watching this on a tablet computer somewhere while he's travelling, but if he gets that kind of idea in his head, he Just might go for it. Yes. Yeah, he might do. Well, he's a, he's a man who's hit a ten dart leg on double one, isn't he, Michael Van Gerwen? Yeah, more than once. 134. The man who's had a ton plus finish against him on double one. Remember that, Steve West? 100. January 1, 129. 116 it was. Ninety-three. in their Pro Tour final. I think they were on the telly. Oh. Fifty-eight. Trying to do the sums at home. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven, double one. Only way to go. That's the only way to go for thirty-six. And Jan Decker. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven, double one. Jan Decker. Holds his throw, goes within one of a spot in the second round. 125. Yep. It is the wizard Simon Whitlock who awaits this. Victor. Looking very much like it's going to be Jan Decker at the minute. Gabriel Clemens playing nowhere near the sort of stuff we've seen from him in flashes this year in his first year in PDC darts. 108. But it's not over yet. Two. Uh, beat Simon Whitlock at the Players' Championship finals last year, Jan Decker. Got closer than anybody to beat Michael Van Gogh in that weekend in Minehead, the home of World Darts. One hundred and twenty-five. That's part of a horrendous end of 2017 for Whitlock, who failed to really build on that World Grand Prix final, but done well in the Premier League. Now, Clemens looking at 71 to keep his faint hopes alive. Does that. Well, an 11 darter for Clemens. To go with the 12 darter he hit earlier on. He's put together two world-class legs there, but unfortunately, the other six have not been up to scratch. And that has allowed Jan Decker to just take charge of this game. 61. So one of our boffins on Twitter, the red bit on social media, has claimed that Gabriel Clemens' nickname is Gaga. As in Lady. 95. Not quite sure of the uh, the reasons why. Ninety-seven. He's certainly not on the edge of glory here, is he, Dan? 41. Ooh. Fifty-nine. And Jan Decker is down to one four eight. And he's going to have time on his side to finish the job here. Fifty-five. Can you require one hundred and forty-eight? Well, I'm not going to seal it with a big ton plus check out, Jan Decker. 90. But he will get two match darts when he returns, or he should do at least. Gabriel Clemens, he may be the last darts he throws. 140. It's not a bad visit, but it's not quite been consistent enough. For the German, the first of the host nation qualifiers, and he is beaten 6-3 by Double Decker. Yeah, Jan Decker through to the second round here. We'll go on to take on the wizard, Simon Whitlock, tomorrow. Not a happy start for the home nation qualifiers. Gabriel Clemens bows out of the European Darts Grand Prix here in front of a, a German crowd. Martin Schindler still to come, taking on Robert Owen. Matt Geese, a European Tour debut against Alan Tabman. And next up, Stephen Bunting takes on Kirk Shepherd. But first, we're going to catch a few words with Jan Decker talking to Dan.
Jan. <laughs> That's the deal. You win, you have to come and talk to me. Congratulations, Jan. Not your best stuff, but some big finishes in there help turn the game in your favour. Uh, just, just to, to say, Dan, uh, I lost uh, the first round in the first three uh, European tours, so it was a hard one for me. Just, I want to get over the line, and uh, when when you're losing the first round every time, then it's it's getting harder and harder. And today it was enough. So, yeah. I'm was it a relief coming here to the Glass Palace because you did so well here last time out? You've got good memories of playing here. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Uh, the, the last year I reached the last eight and uh, I played really, really well and uh, yeah, I hope I can do the same uh, th th this weekend. But uh, yeah, I started with, with a win, so that, that, that's fine. Simon Whitlock, the wizard, awaits next. He's a guy who has been up and down this year, particularly in his return to the Premier League, but he's a guy who you know that you can beat Sam before. Uh, yes, I've, I've played him maybe three or four times and uh, uh, I, I beat him, I think, one or two times and, uh, and he, he also be beat me two times, so, yeah. Uh, I have to play my, my best to beat him, but uh, I know I can do it, so uh, hopefully uh, I, I, I play better tomorrow. Jan Decker, double Decker, safely through to the next round. He will face Simon Whitlock tomorrow. Coming up, it's a former World Championship finalist, Kirk Shepard, against the former Lakeside World Champion, the Bullet, Stephen Bunting.